Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to your eighth tutorial on PHP programming. And today we're going to look at mathematical operations. But before we get started, let me remind you we are no longer in WordPad, we are no longer in Dreamweaver, we are now in Eclipse. So if you missed the last video, Lesson 7, make sure you go back and watch that because I'll show you how to install and work with Eclipse, and we'll be doing a lot more with it. One more thing I want you to do for me at the beginning of this tutorial, go watch one of my videos on YouTube called Essential Keyboard Shortcuts in Flash Builder. And since Flash Builder is built on Eclipse, all those shortcuts work for Eclipse as well. So in that tutorial, you'll learn a lot of neat tricks, and I'll be covering them in this tutorial and other tutorials in the future. So you can perform various mathematical operations inside of PHP. Plus, minus, division, multiplication, and here's a new one you may not have seen before. That's not percentage, that's modulo. And the modular method will save you tons of lines of code. So go ahead and click on your desktop icon that we created last time, Eclipse PHP, and open up Eclipse. And when Eclipse opens up, it prompts you to uh, get your workspace, and you want to make sure that your workspace is in that root WAMP folder. Now you can have subfolders in there as well, but they have to be in the root folder for PHP to run. So let's move on. We'll hit OK. And up comes Eclipse. So last time we created a project in Eclipse, we called it PHP Lessons, and inside of that we put a file. And the file was Hello World, and we ran Hello World. And what I want to do now is create another file within the PHP Lessons and run that as well. And let's go ahead and uh, right-click on PHP Lessons and go to New. And let me bring that down so you can actually see that. So right-click on PHP Lessons and go to New. And go PHP File. And we'll just call this Math Calculator. Because today we're going to create a math calculator, go ahead and hit finish. So within your PHP lessons, you see you have another file called math calculator, and you can run that file as well. Now I created some PHP code, but it didn't give me the ending tag, so let's go ahead and put that in there as well. Question mark greater than sign. And now we can put code in there and run it. So let's go ahead and put some code in there and run our calculator. So we'll put math 1. And we're just going to set two numbers. So let's say 3 plus 4. So it runs, so it works just like arithmetic. And we'll echo that out. And I'm copying variables because I always spell them wrong. So I'll just copy and paste that variable. And uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, concatenate a break on there so I get the right uh, formatting. So use a less than sign, br tag, and close it. And now we want to run this program. So I'm going to save it, and when I save it, if there's any errors, the errors will occur, but there's no errors. And I'm going to run it and see what happens. And what happens was something else come, came up, not uh, the program I'd created. Actually, WordPress came up. So what happens if I could just click on it? Let's try to click on it and run it. And once again, WordPress came up. And now this is frustrating. This is not what you experience in uh, Java or C++ or ActionScript programming. When you click on a project and you run it, it should run. So what's going on here? There's a few points we need to make here. First of all, PHP is not a compiled language. So you're not waiting around for something compiled. They're very simple to run. And in this little uh, URL bar, I could actually just type in the URL that I want to run in any project and run it without compiling it. So let's come along here and do that. So I'm in localhost. So let's go to the localhost, and just as we were doing before in our uh, previous lessons where we weren't using uh, Eclipse, I can just type in the address. So if I go PHP lessons slash math calculator. Now, if you notice previous in the video, I didn't spell this calculator right, and I went back and corrected it. So that's why there's a change here. So I hit return, and it, it calculated 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Great! So actually I could just get to it from typing into the command line and I could type anything into command line without actually having to click on it at all and actually run that program. So there's no reason to compile PHP. Super! The next thing I want to make is there's another way to get to this. Say I want to run Hello World instead. If I click on that and try to run it, my math calculator runs or my FlexPress runs, so I don't like that. So I can select that actually so it'll run what I want it to. So come up here to the run bar right here, the run hello, click on that arrow and drag down to run configurations. And from that point there, you can choose the configuration that you want to run. So I'm going to browse the configuration I want to run in PHP Lessons, and I go to Hello World, for example, and I run that. Apply that and just run it. And it runs my Hello World. And so what's important to note here is that there's a little bit of a change, a little bit of a difference in what you're used to maybe in uh, Flash Builder or in Java. And so you need to know how to run your projects. And so let's go back to our math calculator and let's do a little bit more calculating. And here you're going to get your first important keyboard shortcut. 
I'm going to highlight these two lines right here. I'm going to hold down the Alt Control key and the arrow down at the same time. And when I do that, I totally duplicate those lines of code. And so let's call this Math 2. And let's do a subtraction. And let's echo out Math 2. Let's go ahead and run that program. So I'm going to go to my arrow here. I'm going to actually go to Run Configurations. And I'm going to choose the configuration I want to run. Because if I ran that, I'd run Hello World instead because I haven't chose that configuration. So now I'm choosing my new configuration. And this will enable me, in a sense, to run several uh, projects or several files within the same project. And let's go to PHP Lessons and click on Math Calculator. Hit OK. And let's apply and run that. And also, let me make the point. Since I've selected these BR tags, I'm expecting some web page uh, processing to occur. So when we hit our run, let's also uh, hit our run configuration, of course. And you can come along here and you can choose a particular file you want to run. But I also want to run this as a web page. So if I come along here and choose run as web page as opposed to a script, let's go and select it. I can choose run as PHP web page. When I do, you do see, indeed, you get the uh, breaks. And the first one is 3 plus 4, which is 7. And the second one is uh, 3 minus 4, which is minus 1. So you're starting to see all this interact the way it's supposed to. Uh, just a few little quirks here with working with the system. As we move on, we'll be actually adding more and more uh, Eclipse stuff to it. So I'm just giving you the basics so you can get started and running. Just uh, if you don't understand something, don't be afraid to play around. Your best friend's going to be here is help. And so if you go help content, there's lots of resources for you in the help. There's tutorials. If you type in Quick Start, you can actually get some Quick Start tutorials or some Getting Started tutorials. So if you have any problems in Clips, make sure you go to its help. So let's just go back to where we started. So let's talk about what we've done today. What we did today is we showed you how to create another file inside of a PHP lesson. We started our PHP math calculator. We showed you how to use the Alt plus control page down arrow to duplicate code. We showed you how to run in the Eclipse environment by one, choosing run configurations, and by two, running as a web page. So at this point, uh, we're going to move on with our math calculator in the next tutorial. Thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively.